Hi guys, today I have to share to you on how to plant a logbate hydroponically or in a soilless system wherein we are still using the same nutrient, the compost tea. In my previous videos, I already shared to you on how to make the compost tea. Same uh, ratio we have to use here in planting this alogbate or they call it as Indian spinach or Malabar spinach or Basilia alba. So the ratio is still the same, 1 is to 10 ratio. 1 liter of compost tea to 10 liters of the water. And here, as you can see, I have made a hole on the bottom of the cup. This is to extend the steam of this alogbate in order for the steam or the roots could reach the compost tea or the uh, nutrients even though the bottom of the cup is out of water because here in the Middle East it's very hot so most of the water will uh, dissipate so I think in a week I should uh, uh, top up the water around uh, 2 liters to 3 liters in a week so now this uh, steam already in the cups and uh, is uh, supported by the foam inside so before I already showed to you on how I use the old bit foam for my plant. So the same way as I am using it here. And now I have to show you on how I will uh, mix the water in the in my brew box to the uh, nutrient which is the compost tea. So as I told earlier, we need to mix the water 1 is to 10 ratio. So here this uh, styrofoam grow box is uh, 12 liter in capacity. So I need to put at least uh, one and a half liter to the grow box so I already extracted the compost tea in my uh, main container so here is it the one liter of compost tea I have to mix it thoroughly in my grow box system so for this is 12 liters grow box I need to mix uh, one and a half liter of compost tea. So that's how I mixed my uh, water to the nutrient. In my previous videos, I already shared to you on how to make the compost tea. And also the how I make the styrofoam grow box, the styrofoam cup, and so with the foam which uh, support my plant. So now I already mix thoroughly the compost tea to the water. So I will put now my uh, all the plants that I have uh, put in the cups so here is it most of them already sprouted its roots because before I uh, plant this here in the styrofoam cups or in the grow box I uh, already uh, uh, put this in the water for almost uh, one week so you can see that the uh, roots already sprouted so 
some of them already have uh, VB leaf. There's a new leaf that is uh, visible on the stem. Not all the stems sprouted roots. Some of them also got rotten. Here I'll show you the new leaf that already uh, visible on my new plant. This alubate is uh, very rich in uh, calcium, vitamin A, and vitamin C as well. So this is good for health. This is a good reason why we should plant a bate in our backyard garden. Planting any vegetables here in the Middle East is very challenging because of the very hot weather condition that reaches uh, 37 to 50 degrees Celsius during summer and around 11 o'clock in the morning to 3 o'clock in the afternoon so that's why uh, I need to protect my plant from dying So this is how I protect my plant. I use this uh, egg trays wherein uh, normally after using the egg trays we need to throw it. But here I use it to protect my plant. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to support my channel by hitting the subscribe and like button and so with the notification bell button for you to be notified on my upcoming videos thank you very much and god bless us all and always stay safe